Good morning, Pioneers. My name is Lindsay Fazio. Today is September 18th. I'm reporting from Croswell Lexington High School, and here are your announcements. Attention upperclassmen. I want to say that 23rd, Northwood University is coming for a visit to Croslex during lunches. Homecoming week is approaching fast, starting on September 28th. Get that Pioneer Pride ready to go. Hi, I'm Cody Bertles. I'm here from CLSN, and I'm here with the brother of Justin Johnson, the quarterback of the Crosslex Pioneers. How do you think your brother's doing tonight, buddy? Um, good. Good? All right. And do you want to be like him when you get older? Yeah? Yes. What, what position do you want to play when you get older? Um, Michigan. You want to play at Michigan? Cool. You like football? Yes. All right. Thanks for talking, buddy. The first week of school can be difficult for some people, but I hope you enjoyed the announcements. Till next week. Good morning. I'm Matthew Cutterwell. Everybody, please rise and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Have a good day, pioneers. Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Casey, and I just wanted to uh, share a, a couple of words with you regarding our new student support hour, our SOS schedule that we are going to be starting next week on Wednesday, the 23rd. As mentioned on our first day of school in our grade level meetings, um, we have figured out a way by, to alter your schedule by shaving 10 minutes in each class period on Wednesdays um, to free up 45 minutes at the end of the day so you can get some extra help that you need in your classes. Um, for example, um, you'll have an opportunity um, at the end of fifth hour to leave class if needed or stay in your fifth hour and go to another class to get help with an assignment, to turn in homework, to uh, make up a quiz or a test. Um, so a lot of different ways to get caught up and get extra support and help if you need it. If you are all caught up in all your work and you're in good standing in all of your classes, you'll be able to simply stay put in your fifth hour and uh, read. Um, you can, if you're an upperclassman, maybe work on college scholarships, college applications, um, things like that as well. So it is going to be a, a worthy uh, cause and effort. It's going to take some logistics to make sure everybody's going to the right place. So we might be tweaking things over the first couple weeks to make sure we're, we're getting this uh, done in a timely manner. But uh, just to point, up a, uh, point out a couple key things. Number one, you will need to go to a teacher that's on your schedule. So obviously you can't just go visit a teacher that you enjoy hanging out with. Uh, number two, um, there won't be any need to go to, for example, your gym class. So if you have PE or sports and fitness, that is not a class that you'll be able to attend. You'll have to pick something else on your schedule. Uh, number three, your teachers actually have these passes that you will be filling out either on that day or the day before that will explain where you want to go. Um, and again, we might be tweaking that process a little bit once we get some feedback from you guys and the teachers. I plan on sending this SOS schedule out to you guys in the next couple days so you can see um, directly how long all your classes are and the schedule for the day. To my morning career center students, juniors, you will be coming back a little earlier in order to get to your third hour, uh, third hour on time. For my PM career center students, uh, you guys will have a little extra time before your uh, afternoon career center bus takes off because lunches will be a little early. Again, this is our SOS schedule, which will happen only on Wednesdays. We are starting next week, the 23rd, um, and we do plan on continuing it through uh, Spirit Week, Homecoming Week. The only time we would maybe uh, consider changing this is uh, during maybe a shortened week due to Thanksgiving break or uh, exam weeks, things like that. So. Uh, we hope you find it a worthy cause. It's something new. We think it's going to be a great, great benefit to our students, um, especially our students who need just a little extra time to get some work done. And I thank you in advance for your cooperation. Everybody will find a place to go. Um, no one's going to be able to leave early uh, or anything like that. It will count as an absence, but uh, I'm sure you guys will find this very beneficial to you as well. And I thank you in advance, and I'll get that information out to you in the next couple of days. Thanks, and have a great day.